Almost nobody is paying attention to what's happening behind the scenes right now, but they are obsessed with finding the next NVIDIA stock or if the market will crash. But just days ago, a potential $10 billion deal between OpenAI and Amazon sent a quiet but powerful signal through the market, a signal that could reshape who actually wins the next phase of the AI boom. This isn't about hype, this isn't about headlines, and it's definitely not about NVIDIA disappearing. This is about where the money, the chips, and the compute are moving next and which companies stand to benefit before Wall Street fully connects the dots. Because when AI giants start locking in massive infrastructure deals, it tells you one thing. The next wave of winners is being decided right now, long before earnings calls and analyst upgrades. So in this video, I'm going to break down what this deal really means, how it affects NVIDIA, and most importantly, which stocks could quietly benefit the most directly and indirectly from this shift in AI power. If you want to understand where AI money may flow next, not last cycle's winners, not yesterday's trades, stick with me, because the real opportunity starts right here. To celebrate this community reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a free guide on spotting breakout stocks. You'll find the link in the description below. Quick reminder, this video is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Investing in stocks scaries risk, so always do your own research before making decisions. All right, to understand who benefits first, you have to follow the earliest layer of leverage. When AI infrastructure begins to diversify, the immediate winners are not the end applications or the consumer-facing platforms. They're the companies embedded one layer beneath the headlines, supplying the silicon, the architecture, or the critical components that every large-scale deployment depends on. These businesses don't need to replace incumbents to win. They only need incremental share, long-term contracts, and rising volume. And historically, this is where some of the most asymmetric returns are created when a company becomes strategically necessary before it becomes widely recognized. So let's start with stock number one. A company positioned to benefit as AI compute shifts from concentration to diversification, and one that quietly sits at the center of this next infrastructure phase. Broadcom ticker symbol AVGO. This company is not a headline AI brand. It doesn't sell excitement, it sells indispensability. And that's precisely why it sits at the center of this shift. As AI leaders like OpenAI explore diversification away from single vendor dependency, the critical question becomes, who enables custom silicon at scale? That answer, increasingly, is Broadcom. Broadcom specializes in custom accelerators, networking silicon, and AI-specific ASIC design, the exact tools hyperscalers and frontier AI labs need when they decide not to rely exclusively on off-the-shelf GPUs. This is where Broadcom's advantage compounds. When companies like Amazon invest in in-house chips, they don't build them alone. They rely on partners with deep IP, manufacturing relationships, and the ability to design silicon that integrates cleanly into large-scale data center environments. Broadcom already does this quietly for some of the world's largest technology companies. The key investment insight here is leverage. Broadcom doesn't need OpenAI to abandon NVIDIA. It doesn't need Trainium to dominate GPUs. It only needs AI workloads to fragment. Every incremental move toward custom chips, alternative accelerators, and diversified infrastructure increases Broadcom's relevance because complexity favors specialists. And from a financial standpoint, Broadcom fits the profile institutional investors care about long-term contracts, high switching costs, strong free cash flow, exposure to AI growth without relying on one customer or one architecture. In other words, Broadcom is positioned to benefit regardless of which AI model wins, provided AI compute continues to scale. That's why Broadcom is the first layer beneficiary of this shift, not speculative not hype-driven, but structurally advantaged. From a technical perspective, Broadcom remains in a primary uptrend, but the stock is now transitioning into a consolidation and digestion phase after a strong year-to-date move. On the chart, Avgo has pulled back from recent highs near the 4 to 100 level and is currently stabilizing around the mid-300s. This area aligns with a prior breakout zone, which often serves as technical support during healthy corrections. Importantly, this pullback has not broken the broader trend structure. Higher lows are still intact, 
and price remains well above its longer-term moving averages, a sign that institutional positioning has not meaningfully unwound. Volume behavior also supports this view. While we've seen increased activity during the recent pullback, there's no evidence of panic selling. Instead, it resembles rotation and profit-taking rather than distribution. From here, there are two technical paths to watch. A base-building phase above support, which would reset momentum and potentially allow for another leg higher if AI infrastructure demand accelerates. Or a deeper retracement toward lower support zones if the broader market enters a risk-off environment. Either way, the key takeaway is this. Broadcom does not need immediate upside to remain constructive. Time spent consolidating at elevated levels often strengthens long-term trends rather than weakens them. For longer-term investors, this chart reflects a stock that is being absorbed, not abandoned, consistent with Broadcom's role as a structural beneficiary of AI infrastructure expansion rather than a short-term momentum trade. Moving to the following stock, Advanced Micro Devices ticker AMD. This company is the most credible threat to NVIDIA's dominance in accelerators. This is where the story becomes more nuanced. AMD is not trying to cancel out NVIDIA, it's positioning itself as the strategic second source. And in hyperscale computing, a second source is not optional, it's essential. As AI spending scales from experimentation into permanent infrastructure, hyperscalers and large AI labs care less about having the absolute best chip and more about having supply certainty, cost control, negotiating leverage, and architectural flexibility. That's precisely where AMD fits. AMD's MI series accelerators are increasingly deployed for large-scale but non-frontier workloads such as inference, internal model training, and cost-sensitive AI tasks that don't require NVIDIA's highest performance tier. And that distinction matters. Most AI workloads are not cutting-edge research models. They are production systems. And production systems optimize for efficiency, not prestige. From an investment standpoint, AMD benefits from a simple dynamic. If AI compute diversifies even modestly, AMD's share expands meaningfully without NVIDIA needing to fail. Technically, AMD is in a long-term uptrend, but unlike Broadcom, it has spent more time consolidating and repairing structure after prior volatility. This matters for positioning. Rather than extending, AMD has been building a base with price action respecting higher lows as it digests prior advances. That behavior is often associated with institutional accumulation, not retail speculation. Momentum indicators suggest AMD is neither overbought nor exhausted a neutral to constructive setup if AI demand continues to reaccelerate into future quarters. The key technical signal to watch is relative strength versus NVIDIA. AMD doesn't need to outperform the market. It only needs to stop underperforming NVIDIA for institutions to re-engage at scale. If that relative trend stabilizes, AMD becomes less of a speculative AI trade and more of an infrastructure allocation. Why AMD belongs in this list. AMD sits at a critical intersection, close enough to NVIDIA to benefit from diversification, large enough to execute at scale, flexible enough to win workloads, NVIDIA doesn't need to defend in other words, AMD doesn't win by replacing NVIDIA. It wins by coexisting. And in the next phase of AI, coexistence is where the money often shifts. Moving to a growth stock, Marvell Technology ticker symbol MRVL. Marvell represents infrastructure level diversification, the layer of AI that becomes critical only after scale is achieved. This is where many investors lose the thread. AI conversations usually focus on computation, but at scale, Compute is meaningless without data movement. As AI models grow larger and clusters expand across thousands of nodes, the limiting factor shifts from raw processing power to the speed at which data can move between chips, racks, and data centers. That's Marvell's domain. Marvell specializes in custom data center silicon, high-speed networking, and interconnect technology, the invisible plumbing that enables AI accelerators to function as a system rather than isolated processors. And this is precisely why Marvel fits into the OpenAI Amazon diversification narrative. When hyperscalers explore alternative accelerators, whether NVIDIA, AMD, or in-house chips like Tranium, they still require world-class networking to maintain high utilization and low latency. Diversification doesn't reduce complexity. It increases it. And complexity is where Marvel gains leverage. 
why Marvell benefits as an AI infrastructure fragment in a single vendor environment, networking requirements are standardized. In a multi-vendor environment, interoperability becomes a strategic problem. That creates demand for custom silicon, specialized interconnects, tailored networking solutions. Marvell has spent years positioning itself for this exact moment when hyperscalers need partners who can design silicon around their architecture, not sell one-size-fits-all products. From an investment perspective, this makes Marvell a second-order AI beneficiary, less visible than NVIDIA or AMD, less cyclical than consumer-facing tech, more exposed to long-term infrastructure build-out. These are the kinds of names institutions rotate into after the first wave of AI winners becomes crowded. Technically, Marvel has experienced more volatility than Broadcom or AMD, which is typical for infrastructure names that sit further down the stack. However, recent price action suggests stabilization following a sharp repricing rather than a structural breakdown. The stock has been attempting to rebuild its trend, with buyers stepping in at progressively higher support levels, a familiar pattern during early stage accumulation. Volume trends indicate participation returning on up moves, while downside moves have not shown aggressive distribution. From a technical standpoint, Marvel doesn't yet need a breakout to be constructive. What matters is trend, repair, and base formation, the kind of setup that often precedes renewed institutional interest once fundamentals reassert themselves. Marvel is not a replacement story. It's a necessity story. Regardless of which accelerators dominate NVIDIA, AMD, or custom chips AI infrastructure cannot scale without advanced networking. That makes Marvell a beneficiary of AI growth itself, not the outcome of the accelerator race. And in cycles like this, the most durable returns often come from companies that sit between the winners, quietly collecting value as the ecosystem expands. Taken together, Broadcom, AMD, and Marvell illustrate how AI value is shifting from concentration to distributed infrastructure. Looking at the last but not least stock, a growth stock with less hype, Credo Technology Group, ticker, Credo. Credo is a second order AI infrastructure play and that's precisely why it's still under the radar. While investors focus on AI brains, Credo sells the connective tissue, high speed chips that move data between accelerators, switches, and servers inside AI clusters. As AI infrastructure diversifies between NVIDIA, AMD, and custom chips data movement becomes the bottleneck and bottlenecks capture value, Credo doesn't need to pick a winner. It benefits as clusters grow larger and denser. That's why it fits the open AI Amazon narrative. More scale, more traffic, more connectivity demand. From an investment standpoint, smaller market cap, direct exposure to AI CapEx, growth tied to infrastructure, not hype. Technically, Credo behaves like an early stage growth stock, higher volatility, but improving structure as demand accelerates. This is not a core holding. It's a high upside satellite position for investors who want exposure beyond the prominent AI names. Capital moves with intent. And what we're seeing now isn't a search for the next NVIDIA, it's a shift toward distributed AI infrastructure. As compute diversifies, value spreads across the stack. Broadcom in custom silicon, advanced micro devices in alternative accelerators, Marvel technology in networking, and Credo technology group in connectivity. NVIDIA remains central, but the opportunity is widening. For investors, the edge comes from following where infrastructure spending is going next, not where it's already been. That's how the next phase of AI quietly takes shape. If this video interests you, please check out the following video.